Well, here I am at the uh, site uh, that I'm assisting a self-builder on in the uh, Bridge of Allen, central, central Scotland, not too far from Stirling. And um, this is the entrance to, this, to the site here. Um, he actually owns all this ground here, so he's actually using this area here for some storage. You'll see there's some fairly large sections of, of cuts and cuts there. There was a couple of very large trees had to be removed which we'll see when we go further up here so uh, lovely sunny day here albeit a little bit windy but uh, you'll see the diameter of the trees there that they had to, had to be cut down they were huge huge big trees unfortunately they were um, severely uh, damaged by having had vine around them so they were in an unsafe condition otherwise we would obviously try to retain trees hundreds of years to you know to grow and it's always a shame to, to have to chop them down but uh, if they're unsafe and, and there's fairly you know houses just across the road so they were certainly very happy to have the trees taken taken down now you'll see the important thing is obviously to make the make the site secure so you'll see the head is fencing um, under health you know health and safety that is a, a requisite so you don't actually you have the potential of kids coming on site and, and maybe hurting themselves uh, as I say this was a walled garden so that's the existing existing wall you can see there and uh, that's the kind of house there the original old house there and then this is actually a development of new houses in here which is just actually opposite opposite the site um, see as I say it's a lovely sunny day it's about uh, about one o'clock so this the site is pretty close to being south south facing now here's his, his establishment here so he's done the right thing I uh, advise him to see if he can get a container which obviously can store material safely and you'll have all these drawings and that in there so they can be kept nice and dry and you know be referenced without having to take them back back and forth um, there's obviously some leftover reinforcement which had been put into the foundations there just a, a, a mesh um, and you'll see here's the here's the actual foundations have been laid have been laid here so very tidy. Um, the excavations there are, haven't kind of fallen into the to the foundations, which is good. So the ground ground is you know particularly good. Now you'll notice here that there's actually you can see there there's actually like steps, and that's quite common. You call it like a step in the foundation. So rather than uh, a great thick foundation, they can actually step it down, and that step would normally be the same size of a kind of concrete block work, so that you don't have to start cutting cutting blocks when you're actually doing it. You'll see a number of them over the length of the actual site. And I'll try and jump over here and hopefully not fall in. There we go. So you'll see there's another step step in the foundation there. So this is really uh, concrete concrete strip foundation, which is really the most most cost effective to actually do. Uh, so the ground bearing conditions here uh, was proven in the the uh, test report we got for the ground that it was uh, good load bearing strata. Part of this wall had to come down because part of the house actually projects over this wall here for the entrance. And there's a, a kind of pillar in the corner there so you can see the foundation for it, for it there. So again, you'll see there's actually a portaloo there. So again, that's uh, really a requirement for you know for the guys on site. So um, yeah, very tidy. So the next step from here would obviously be to get the the underbuilding done. And what I'll do is I'll pop back when the underbuilding has actually been built and maybe the slab in up to DPC level, ready for the timber frame being delivered. The concrete for here was actually 
um, uh, delivered and actually pumped in over the wall there um, so it means it can be done very very quickly so not sure how long this would have taken to put in but literally it's a case of hours rather than rather than days so um, another step forward a um, little bit of a time obviously the, the next step will be here will be to put in some of the services and pop-ups um, for the you know the various utilities that are actually required.